That's how you hook up your capacitor to your music. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, share it with somebody who need to see it. Treasure Wars! Yeah, yeah. All of my bitches got pretty faces and she just let me hear she a cute Jamaican. In the mirror I see greatness in the making. In the mirror I see... Alright y'all, what they do man, we are back at the charger in the trunk. Today we are installing the capacitor for the audio. I've adjusted my uh, watts so that I'm pushing the absolute hell out of these speakers. I just bought a brand new battery so it's pumping strong. Uh, but what I don't want to do is drain this brand new battery with my speakers and my amp turned all the way up to where it is. So I bought this 3300 watt 3.3 fur rod capacitor. Uh, the link is in the description below if you want one. Um, and this is how you install it. First you need to figure out where you're going to mount it. I'm mounting mine with the terminals pointing in the same direction as the power on the ground terminals on my amplifier uh, and everything is right here on the box so when i move the box around the amplifier and the capacitors coming with it um, so there are a few different ways you can do this some people have a, a power distribution block that they run from their battery when they hook the power cable straight up from the battery to the power distribution block and then it will send out a 12 volt from one uh, channel going left straight into the amp and then another channel going right straight into the capacitor but what i'm gonna do is run a line straight from the battery because i don't have a distribution block so it's coming straight from the battery into the capacitor and then I'm gonna run a line straight from the capacitor into the amplifier. Uh, and then I'm gonna run the ground wire straight from uh, the one that's grounded uh, next to the battery up through to the uh, capacitor and then run another ground wire from the capacitor into the amplifier. So wrap your mind around that. Um, actually, if I can, you know, I might just pop open uh, up under this thing and then uh, dig for a new ground wire but it's, it's kind of unnecessary you know for a system as small as mine when i say small yes i have two 12s you know yes i have a, a 3300 watt uh, capacitor and a i think this is a 2800 watt amplifier or a 3000 watt amplifier what i mean is this is not like a competition setup um, as long as my battery is protected, that's what matters to me. I'm not trying to, um, I, I don't know, I'm not trying to win points for having the prettiest setup, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make sure that it works and that my battery is protected. So this gets the job done. This is the way I've been doing this since high school. Um, maybe one day I'll feel like switching up the batteries and adding a power distribution block and changing the ground and all that but that's not how we're doing it today so i'll just show you how we do it um, now also another thing before i actually do it i just wanted to mention you're going to want to charge the capacitor before you just hook it up to the power so how you charge your capacitor is either with one of these this is a it's like a fuse set in between two wires you guys can see that it's like a fuse set in between two wires you're gonna take the power from the car plug it up boom and then take this and then you know connect it to the power on the capacitor and that's gonna slowly charge this thing up so that you don't just plug it up to the car and it zoop, drains your battery hundred percent and then you can't even crank the car that's what you don't want you want a slow drip a slow sip from the battery into the capacitor so gonna need one of these if your kit doesn't come with it this kit does come with it so that's why you want this one but uh so the link is in the description below but if your kit doesn't come with one then go to AutoZone or wherever and buy yourself a, a a light bulb and make sure that light bulb has two connectors and that'll work just fine so without further ado let's disconnect these battery terminals from the amplifier and then hook them up to the capacitor the first one is going to be the ground wire. You're just going to put the ground wire onto the capacitor. So 
Let's do it. So I actually have the whole box screwed in behind here. But I just undid the screws so that I can move it around. So let's undo this ground. Now you're gonna need some connector uh, pieces here. Me personally, I don't like these. I like the ones that clamp, but this is all they had at my local auto parts store. So use your clamp to connect to your ground. Like so. Then wrap her up with some tape. I gotta run two grounds. So I gotta run, I have to run two grounds. This is gonna be straight from the car to the capacitor. Then I'm gonna run straight from the capacitor to the amp. So second ground is gonna come from this thick, really thick four gauge wire right here. coming from the car then I got the ground going into the amp and we're gonna cut it with just a little bit of length you know not too fucking short so about right here is where it needs to be So anyway, this is a pretty crucial step right here because you could either drain your battery completely or do this the right way. So let's do it the right way. How we do that? And what I mean is this step is charging your capacitor. So you charge your capacitor by taking this live power wire straight from your battery, hooking up your electrical tape all right so this is connected to a live power wire straight from the battery we're going to touch this right here and then charge the battery uh, i kind of want to do that while the car is on i don't want to do that while uh, do me a favor close that close my door okay. i don't want to do it while the car is off because then the alternator doesn't have a chance to recharge the battery Huh? What would that change if I sang to you? Nah, well if we fail I bring the blame to you Yeah, right to your front door, bitch It ain't my fault you got them trust issues There we have it So, as you can see It is charging The capacitor is charging And how you know it is because this .00 is flickering I'll put it on without the flash it's taking a slow, slow sip from the battery. And this light right here is indicating that it's receiving power. And when it's all done charging, that will stop flickering. A slow sip from the battery. You don't wanna just hook it up to the battery and then this capacitor drains all the power from your brand new battery. You don't want that. All right, y'all, so now that your capacitor is charged, you can hook it up to the actual battery and then hook the battery up for the capacitor up to the amp. So you need two more connectors. You know I got those. Hoping they wake you up out of your sleep at night And then they scare you half the hell And I know you ain't calling your mama and daddy Crying like you wanna move home Boom, y'all 
there you have it now if i did everything correctly when i turn my whip on my music should come on with it